Truck drivers, what's a creepy story you've got from the middle of nowhere? Driving through an abandoned section of Baltimore at 3 in the morning, my CB radio turned itself on and crackled for a bit. Out of nowhere some voice over the radio said in a deep southern drawl, I ain't got no panties on. I could see up and down the interstate for miles and saw not one set of headlights. A good buddy of mine is a long-haul trucker for my company. A few months ago, he woke up in a parking lot surrounded by police. Some dude had gotten shot and dumped 15 feet from his truck. Was he a suspect afterwards? Not exactly creepy but definitely terrifying. My father was a truck driver, and he was driving through a smaller town in Northern California hauling tomatoes. Suddenly he got incredibly tired. Wasn't low on sleep or deprived at all but ended up passing out at the wheel. Last thing he saw was the light of the town in front of him. He woke up about two hours later on the other side of town, perfectly parked on the side of the road. He swears something was looking out for him that night. I was in the middle of absolutely nowhere in Texas and getting so tired, and there were absolutely no lights anywhere around me but the stars. I guess I kinda messed up a turn at one of those forks in the road, when a calm voice came loud over the CB, driver, looks like it's time for you to pull over and grab some sleep. So I did. I'm not ignoring invisible citizen Van Jesus. Edit, you all made my cake day amazing that is my biggest upvote post yes. Maybe I am cool. Not exactly relevant, but still creepy AF. My dad is a trucker and about 20 some years ago, a woman committed suicide by running out in front of him. He said that every night around the time she died, the cab of his truck would drop a few degrees in temperature and he felt a presence. He said this went on for a few weeks and finally he spoke out to her and said he forgave her and wished that she had peace. He said he never experienced the eeriness again. My uncle was a long-haul trucker for almost 30 years. He did a lot of runs through Texas and said that some of the small towns gave him a weird vibe. Like he absolutely didn't belong there as an outsider and should just make his delivery and leave ASAP. Last week. I was in the middle of nowhere in northern Alabama, driving at night. Went over a small rise and see something on the side of the road between me and the next little hill. As I get closer, realize it's kind larger. So I edge myself slightly away from it in my lane in case it's a tree or something. Turns out to be a homeless dude on the side of the road wearing some kind of tan trench coat and a really gaunt look in his eyes. Like, he wanted me to hit him. It was creepy. Not a truck driver, but was on the final leg of a 16-hour drive from Florida to northern Ohio with a caravan of about 8 cars and half of us drivers, most of us up for 12 plus hours at this point and everyone else in the cars sound asleep, swear we saw a man walking his dog on the side of 1 to 75 in the middle of nowhere between Cincinnati and Dayton at 3 a.m. To this day still don't know if that was real or we were hallucinating, but either way it was pretty creepy. Not a creepy one per se, but anytime I haul through Navajo Nation in New Mexico it's fucking terrifying. One night it's pitch black and there's an old man as aged as death walking along the right side, and he stops and turns to hitchhike, but as I get closer, he's just staring at me and moving closer from the shoulder into the road. I have to swerve to the left not to kill him. Well, nothing paranormal but something out of a strange biology book. I was driving a person in my care from the clinic out of state back home. It started to rain and I was on a very rural road due to a detour and frogs were coming out onto the road in droves. The whole road was jumping and moving. The car started to slide around on the frog carcasses. I had to drive about 20 miles per hour just to stay reliably on the road. I must have killed thousands of frogs that day. Not my story but my mom's. She used to drive long trips to Mississippi. One day she drove over the Mississippi River and saw some huge animal swimming in the water. She says it was almost as big as the trailer she was hauling. I've been reading this thread for 20 minutes and it's 12.42 am, I am so tired but I can't sleep. God damn this shit scares me. It's my lunch break and I log on to Reddit to have 38 notifications, we're all scared together. 
Grandpa drove rig for most of his life a lot of times when he would sleep in Detroit he'd be woken up the sound of fire trucks putting out house fires that were from arson. I'm not sure why my brain decided this was a good thread to read as I lay in bed, close to midnight. After finish reading the stories I've arrived to three conclusions. 1. Don't drive at night, and don't stop either. Point 2. Kentucky and Central American countries' highways are not very friendly and a tad bit paranormal. Point 3. I got chills they're multiplying. My dad was a truck driver, and I came along on short trips on weekends and the one day we're cruising along and we hear a helicopter. A minute later there's an air convoy just flying above us about 400 feet up. But it wasn't just like two or three helicopters it was like 30 or 40. I was really young so military helicopters were really cool. Not a truck driver, but while I was driving through Nevada during the day a jet flew directly over my car. Scared the shit out of me cause it was so loud. What was really creepy was that while driving back through the desert in the dead of night, I saw a deer slowly walking across the road, didn't even flinch as I was bearing down on him. On the other hand, I saw a lot of stars those nights cause it was so empty. Not a trucker myself, but I came from a family of it. The general one is the black dog hallucination. I am reading all of this right now as I am parked on the side of an empty highway, and I swear I just heard something I'm out. 